Zimbabwe vs West Indies first test Zimbabwe survive Gary Balance blow to draw with Windies. Zimbabwe survived the loss of first innings Centurion Gary Balance and some testing spin bowling from West Indies duo Gudekish Modi and Roston Chase to cling on for a draw in the first test in Bulawayo on Wednesday. Zimbabwe survived the loss of first innings Centurion Gary Balance and some testing spin bowling from West Indies duo Gudekish Modi and Roston Chase to cling on for a draw in the first test in Bulawayo on Wednesday. Set 272 to win and a minimum of 49 overs after West Indies skipper Craig Brathwaite declared their second innings at 203 for 5. Zimbabwe staggered to 134 for 6 before stumps were drawn. That represented a gritty rearguard from the Zimbabwe lower order after they had slumped to 119 for 5 with former England batter balance edging chase to wicketkeeper Joshua Da Silva for 18. Any thoughts of chasing down the notional target were long gone with the emphasis shifting to surviving the last 70 balls at the Queen's Sports Club. Brad Evans was dismissed eight balls later for a duck and, having claimed six wickets through Modi and Chase, the tourists sensed a dramatic victory. But wicketkeeper Taffuds with Siga dug in with a dogged 24 not out off 83 balls while tail ender Wellington Masakadza saw off 36 deliveries for a vital match saving not not out. The first three innings in the match were all declared with almost 100 overs lost to reign over the first two days. West Indies opener Tej Nareen Shanderpal was named player of the match for his 207 not out in the first innings, his first test century. Balance also enjoyed a memorable debut for Zimbabwe, marking it with a first innings 137 which made him only the second batsman after Kepler Wessels to score test centuries for two countries. Balance struck four tons for England before his century against the West Indies while South Africa-born Wessels hit four for Australia and two for his homeland. Modi bowled 24 overs and claimed 4 for 50 while Chase took 2 wickets while conceding only 9 runs in 12 overs that included 6 maidens. The second and final test starts on Sunday.